In this video, I'm going to be explaining what packing cubes are and how you can use them to stay organized when backpacking or traveling. Um, it's also going to serve as a mini review for the Tom Bin Packing Cube Shoulder Bag, Tom Bin Packing Cube, the Travel Laundry Stuff Sack, and the Pod from Hyperlight Mountain Gear. I know a lot of you guys follow this channel from my hiking reviews, but one of my other really big passions is worldwide travel. Um, I've been traveling around the world on and off since about 2010, and it's taken me a long time to figure out how to have my backpack organized and everything where I need it when I'm traveling. Um, I think this is the best system out there, and I think you guys would really benefit from this information as well. So first of all, what are packing cubes and why do I use them? Um, packing cubes are a super convenient way to have all your gear organized and separated um, to put inside your suitcase or inside your backpack. They're usually made of really lightweight, durable materials like ripstop nylon or Dyneema. Um, they're inherently simple by design, but they usually have some kind of zipper to close them or possibly a drawstring. They come in various different shapes and sizes and they help to compress your gear down and maximize the, the amount of space inside your suitcase or your backpack. I just want to quickly preface this by saying some of the ones that you're going to see here in this video are actually discontinued now by Tom Ben. They've slightly changed the designs and they've also changed the materials that they've used. Let's look at some of the packing cubes I use and how I use them. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that Tom Bin makes some of my favorite travel bags and accessories. Um, I've tried pretty much all the packing cubes they make in all the different shapes and sizes. This one's designed to go inside my Aeronaut 45 and it's my favorite design that I've seen from Tom Bin. Um, it's mesh on um, basically all three kind of sides apart from this back panel here which is a strong kind of Dyneema material. Um, the reason I really like the mesh is it's very easy to find all the stuff um, inside it. You can see what you're accessing. Um, also, right now I'm not using it for clothing, but if you do need to pack away something that's damp, um, obviously putting it in here will allow it to breathe a little um, until you arrive at your destination and you can take it out and dry it out. Um, right now this one is holding all of our equipment um, for our dive photography camera. Um, we've got a small RX100 that we use for our dive photography um, and this holds um, all the accessories that we need to go with that. Um, the reason I like this one as well, another reason, is that it's um, very tall sided so it kind of acts like a tray. So you can pack everything down inside it and then zip the lid up. Um, some have a different design where the zipper runs around here and it's more of kind of like a clamshell design. Um, I personally prefer these high, um, high sided walls, I think it's just easier and more convenient. Um, there's an awful lot of stuff in here, I won't bore you with the exact contents of it. Safe to say that there's a lot of stuff in here that we don't use on a super regular basis so it's nice to have it all condensed in one package um, honestly this stays inside the backpack just as it is most of the time but then when we do go scuba diving we unpack all of this check all the batteries check everything um, and then jump in the water so this is my favorite of all the kind of regular style uh, mesh packing cubes the Travel Laundry Stuff Sack from Tom Bin is a very ingenious little design um, because it enables you to separate your dirty laundry from your clean laundry. Um, and this side is clean underwear, socks and gym gear. And then on this side is my dirty laundry. So um, inside here is a dividing wall that adjusts depending on where the, the clothing is. So um, after I've just done laundry, it kind of sits something like this. And when I need to do laundry, it sits about, about here. Um, I really like this design because I don't have to think about what's clean and what's dirty. When something's too gross to be wearing it anymore, it goes inside the area with a red drawstring. Um, and I know that that's ready to be washed next time I do laundry. Um, I guess strictly speaking, it isn't a packing cube. Um, I guess it's a packing accessory. Um, but when I received this from Tom Bin, I immediately fell in love with it. Um, it's a super, super useful thing to have traveling. Um, there is a, a large amount of clothing in here and it's a pretty dense little package, but it does pack down um, and fit really well inside a backpack. Um, it, it compresses even more inside the backpack to, to make use of all the room in there. Another good thing about this is the material that it's made from um, is, is easily, it's kind of like plasticized, it's like a Dyneema material. Um, you can wipe it down with a wet cloth, so I do that every once in, once in a while. I just turn it inside out and wipe it down with a wet soapy cloth just to keep it as clean as possible. So this product isn't actually from Tom Bin, um, but I love it so much I just really wanted to mention it in this video. Um, it's made by Hyperlite Mountain Gear and it's what they call um, a pod. 
Um, I used this on the CDT and as soon as I received it, um, I kind of fell in love with it as well. Um, it's a very, very simple design made of uh, Dyneema composite fabrics, which used to be known as Cuban fiber. Um, it's a, a very thin, um, ultralight material design for the ultralight backpacking community. Um, it is water, very, very water resistant, um, and they've used a waterproof zipper um, on the pod to give it as much water resistance as possible. Um, the main reason I fell in love with it so much is because it also has kind of a tray design to it. Um, so this on the CDT held all of my uh, electronics and all of my small stuff. This was my ditty bag on the CDT. Um, the reason I liked it so much is because I could just throw this um, in the tent as it was, open it up, put the lid back just as you see it now, and then access all the contents without having to go through a stuff sack and pull out all the little bits and pieces. Um, so I liked it so much on the CDT that I'm still using it now while I'm traveling. Um, it holds a bunch of honestly just really random stuff. It's got my dive mask in here. It's got my external hard drives. It's got some snacks, uh, camera cleaning equipment. All the random stuff that I didn't have a set place for goes inside here. Um, super simple design. It is definitely uh, kind of on its way out. There are some holes starting to develop in the dynamo, um, as you would expect after an entire through hike, but it's still going strong, um, and I'll definitely be picking some up when this one uh, dies on me. So then on to the final product, um, and this is another one from Tom Bin. Uh, this is the Packing Cube shoulder bag, and this is easily my favorite of the bunch. Um, essentially, it's a regular packing cube, but you access it from the top. There's this top zipper here. Um, when I am going between places, this uh, is where I uh, pack all my shirts and my t-shirts. So I roll them all up and stuff them down in there. I can get at least four to five shirts and t-shirts uh, in there, which is pretty much what I'm traveling with. Um, don't really need anything more than that. Um, so you access it from the top. Um, and then there's this small zipper that runs along here and a few attachment points just here. The beauty of this is that it holds all my shirts and stuff when I'm traveling, but when I arrive in my destination, um, stored in the little pocket here is a very simple shoulder strap. Now I can attach that shoulder strap to these attachment points right here and immediately I've got a very simple lightweight shoulder bag. Um, this is super useful because whenever I'm traveling I'm trying to travel as light as possible and so anything that can serve kind of a double duty is always a big win. Um, this for me is a great little camera bag um, when I don't want to carry uh, a dedicated backpack, um, this can hold my Sony a7R2, which is what I'm recording on right now with one lens attached, um, and then it can also carry a separate lens in there as well. Um, I pair it with the Tenba BYRB9, which is basically like a padded camera insert um, that I'm going to be reviewing at some point as well. Um, that combined with this makes a very good camera bag. It's also just great if I want to um, go to the gym and I want to throw in a water bottle, maybe a towel, the keys for my bicycle, sunglasses, sunscreen, wallet, all that little, all those little bits and pieces fit in here really easily. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I don't think I'll ever go traveling without this thing again. One of my favorite features of the bag is actually the color. I love this blue Nordic Dyneema that Tom Bin uses. Um, I love it so much, in fact, that I ordered uh, my Synapse 25 backpack in the same color. Um, stay tuned to the channel over the next few weeks as I'm also going to be doing a really in-depth review on that. It's my absolute favorite day pack. So that's some of my thoughts on packing cubes and some other products from Tom Bin and Hyperlite Mountain Gear. I really want to ask you guys, what do you use when you go traveling to organize your gear? Leave a comment below. Um, to see a few more products that I reviewed from Tom Bin, click over here to check those out and I'll see you in the next video.